Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Mwack Attack, your place on the internet for all things photographic. My name is Missy and I am your host as we navigate together those murky waters of professional photography, showing you that being a true professional photographer is a lot easier than most people think. Well, today you're in for a treat. Actually, you're in for a bad case of Missy hat hair. Why do I have Missy hat hair? Because, my friends, I was rocking my pink knit hat all afternoon because I was out shooting seniors on location. And better yet, I was in the snow. Now, I thought, what better opportunity um, to take you along? to kind of show you um, what I do when it comes to posing seniors. I know a lot of people have questions. A lot of people say, Missy, we just want to see you work. Well, today you get to. Um, I got to photograph my precious niece, Lizzie, and my nephew, Mitch. Um, and I'm not the best at editing. So forgive me if it's a little choppy, um, but I sure hope you enjoy and learn a little something. Shall we go? Sit back and enjoy. Lizzie's family owns a cabin, and so we decided to do these right here at the cabin. So you're gonna walk with us as we find another location. Let's see, oh, okay, um, Lizzie, I want you just to climb through the tire swing on your tummy. Now this is where you're going to really crouch down. See how I'm crouching down? See how Lizzie's climbing through? Oh, that's cute. Lizzie, climb through. Now climb back more. There you go. See, that's real. That's natural and real. Just do some with your hands. It doesn't matter. Just what would be normal for you to do with your hands. Kind of come up. Come up a little bit. Oh, oh, now that, see how that's precious? And if you go this way, then you can kind of see her feet stick. Oh, bring your feet up because that's fun. That's that fun pose. Um, yeah, just one foot. See? See? Now, some people wouldn't take this because it looks like the, the boot's coming right out of her head. But you know what? It's real. A great big patch of empty snow. But you know what a big patch of empty snow says to me? Lizzie, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Snow angels! Okay, Lizzie, can you just go lay your body right in the snow? Um, okay. Go ahead. Do you want face down? Oh gosh, no, that would be horrible. Just lay on your back, honey. Oh, that's going to be proud. <laughs> look at, oh, look at that. Isn't that fun? Oh, see now, see how she's doing it? Now, now, put your arms out like an angel. Now, if I was taking a picture right now, this would be, but look happy. Look like it's not cold. <laughs> look like it's not cold. That's fantastic. Now, um, make the angels. Make the angels. Oh, I love, oh my gosh. This reminds me of when you were born. I remember being in the room with my sister and you came out just like an angel and this is kind of just like that. I wish we had one of those precious newborn hats for you. Okay, now um, leave your arms out and your legs out and then what I would do at this point is I would just hold my camera way up high like this. Put your arms out Lizzie and we would take the angel shot. Now can you imagine this with this really precious filter like kind of um kind of like a hazy kind of filter. Wouldn't that be beautiful? I think so. Okay, you doing okay? Yeah. Are you cold? <laughs> oh, the things we have to do for art, huh? I'm so sorry. I feel kind of guilty wearing my jacket, but <laughs> it's okay. It's your picture. Look, if I pose it just right, I don't know if I'm able to do it just right because it's my phone, but see that sun flare? Oh, if you don't take advantage of that opportunity that God gives you with the sun flare, you're missing out. Hey, everybody, we're back. Um, Lizzie stayed inside. She got a little cold. We were a little worried about her fingers. Um, they look a little funny, so we're running them under some warm water. Um, but I took the opportunity to bring her brother, Mitch, outside. Um, hey, Mitch, can you say hi? Hey. Hey. Are you excited to have some pictures? Yeah. Yeah, he is. Okay, come on, let's go. We're going to walk over here. Um, I'm all about symbolism, and um, when I saw this this uh, bunch of cut wood all stacked up with all the beautiful textures, I just thought well, that's a beautiful backdrop. 
Yeah, it's really windy. I mean, it's really windy. Hello. Hey, Mitch. Yeah. Okay, just kind of lean on the wood pile. I know it's cold, but you know, just lean on the wood pile. Now, if you look behind Mitch, you're gonna see a propane tank and you're gonna see some tools on the side of their cabin and a bucket hanging up. You know what? Why am I not moving it? Because it was there and because it's real and we like things that are real. If I moved it, it wouldn't be their cabin anymore. Am I right? You know I'm right. Okay, at this point, Mitch, look up at me. Okay, Mitch, just kind of, um, um, your squinting is good. I like that. Do something different with your hands, Mitch. You know, why don't you put them on your hips? Like, kind of, yeah, kind of sassy. Kind of give me some hip action. Kind of, you know, kind of stick your hip out a little bit. Let's make it really GQ by the wood pile. Oh, see now, now I would take it right now, just like that. That is perfect. That is, I mean, a huge 10 by 13 on the wall. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Um, oh, here we go. Here's some cut logs. Those cut logs, <laughs> there's, um, the snow's kind of turning into, um, like snow hail, snail. snail. And I've got a lot of snail in my mouth right now. Do you, you know what? This is what we do. We are professional photographers. And as professional photographers, um, we almost fall down hills. And we do whatever it takes to get that shot. So if it means we're taking a mouthful of snail, we do it. Um, I really like how this looks right here. It's visually very interesting. Again, we have textures. And we have different levels to it. Um, there's kind of a there's kind of a rule in photography. Um, a rule of it's a rule, and it's about how photos are divided up for composition. And I think that this kind of fits one of those rules. Um, I don't know it for sure, but it feels right. So, Mitch, why don't you go on over and sit right in the middle? Sit. Sit on the logs. Go on, honey. Your sister made snow angels, so you can sit on the logs. I won't copy that, although I'm kind of tempted to, because I think your mom would really like snow angel pictures. Don't brush it off, just sit on it. It's nature, it's from God. Sit down. Go ahead. Yes, oh, see, now that's lovely. Now, again, because, um, now, when I actually shoot this, I'm gonna show you the angle I would use. Now, I would take Mitch, and we're gonna go down, 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 and then we're gonna tilt it. We're gonna tilt it just like that. Isn't that lovely? Mitch, why don't you lean on that? No, 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 no. Put your boom boom right there, honey, and then just lean on that other log with your hand. Yes! See how nice that, now didn't that look natural? Didn't that look natural? Looks like he was just out here. You know, Mitch was just out here and he got tired and he sat down and he rested on a log. So I'm gonna let you look at it again. Nice. See how that's nice? And then just give me a nice expression, Mitch. See how, see how comfortable and happy? See how comfortable and happy he is? That is what you're looking for. All right, let's go. Let's go find one more spot, Mitch. A lot of family members nowadays have professional, a lot of families have professional photographers in the family. So really take advantage of that. Mitch, I want you to go find um, a stick. And if you could find a stick, we are going to write Mitch's name in the snow, like sand. Mitch, go find a stick. Um, okay. okay. Um, I think it's important that you never know what you're going to find. You never know. Sometimes you're going to find, um, um, just a perfect setup and sometimes you have to take the the environment that you have kind of like a blank canvas and then you just create. In this case we're gonna create with Mitch's name. I think that's so precious. I think most you know 18 year old boys would really like this um, as a picture hanging in their family's home. So here he comes. Okay, Mitch, can you just, just, um, you know what, let's just do your initials. Just put a big M and a big F. All right. All right. I'm going to put you in it, so just be careful. M. See, now, see, do you see the creativeness? M. Perfect. Now, and now an F. Perfect. Now, uh, Mitch, just toss. Okay, you're good. Oh, Mitch, stop. Okay, now just toss that over there, and I want you to kneel right in the middle and go, ta-da! 
Isn't that, no, of course you don't hear the ta-da, but we'll know that he's doing it and he'll have that ta-da look to him, okay? So go, ta-da! See, right there, there's the winner. There's the winner picture. I bring it up a little bit, so we see the M and the F. I'm asking you, what 18-year-old boy wouldn't want a set of 100 wallets with that on it? Every single one I know would. See? It's a lot easier than you thought, isn't it? Photographing seniors doesn't have to be stressful. As long as you maintain the right attitude and you're relatable, and you use your surroundings just like a blank canvas. A cord of wood, chop logs, even an empty patch of snow becomes art like that in the right hands. Am I right? You know I'm right. Um, as for Lizzie, she's fine. We brought her in and wrapped her up in a blanket. We actually used two and gave her some Advil. Um, for the pain and put the space heater on her and she was warm in no time so thanks for joining me everybody I hope as always that you learned a little something um, if we're not friends on Facebook why the heck not find me at facebook.com forward slash Mwack attack stay warm and toasty everybody and I'll see you next time bye